Okay. Oh. <clears throat> right. Um, change your glasses. And we're away. Okay, so uh, last time I had left it that uh, I had this problem with this privilege uh, setting, which is okay um, because all it was was yes, there is a privilege on image resource, but only when you're specifying a resource type. Normally, it's specified on the task itself, uh, and I believe it goes in the config. But it might actually be on the task itself. Hmm. Let's try that. Uh, yeah, I thought so. Right, okay. Give it another shot. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now. That should allow the pipeline to run. Let's uh, mm. go. Seems to be taking a bit of a long time, isn't it? <clears throat> oh, okay. Now child operation not permitted. Why not? If you're running as a privileged task. Is it not running as root? Hmm, okay. <clears throat> Something else I have to do. Just <clears throat> Maybe mm. 
Hmm. Let's be explicit, shall we? Mm. Let's. Because uh, it is kind of important. So it's under the run. Uh, so we need to specify user. And that should make sure. It runs as a root. <clears throat> okay, let's go back to the drawing board then. Uh, let's put the set X back on uh, to Pi Builder. Uh, oh, well, onto the un 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 no, it's under the patch Pi, isn't it? We've actually got to the patching of the image. And it's the mount. The mount that's failing, so... Uh, it's this mount, but for some reason it's not permitted. I don't really calculate all the image file stuff. Uh, and so it's past this test, so there must be something there. It's just a privileges problem, isn't it? The container's just not got the right. So why does the container not have privileges uh, because we, we tested this in isolation and it was fine so it must be something to do with the way it's being set up by concourse and we've asked for it to be I mean I'm assuming that it's actually taken uh, is there any way of verifying that? Is there a way of confirming
Hmm. Okay. So for some reason, when I run the, the image locally and give it the privilege flag, everything is hunky-dory. But when I run it here, is there a way to do... I assume there's like a show pipeline, isn't there? Mm. No. Mm. Mm. Okay, so that set pipeline, list the configured pipelines, fine. That's not very interesting, though, is it? What I want to do is uh, get a pipeline. Looks like it. Isn't it? And Here's the run, user root, privileged, true. Patched image. We just want it to run the unzip and patch tool as user root in the image. Well, let's. Why would it not be privileged? Mm. I mean, literally, all it's running is running high patch immediately after. Mm. And the destination. All right. Mm. Uh, now then, uh, I'm going to have to rebuild that on my... What are you doing, Mark? I build it. <laughs> I got all the pie builder.
Uh, oh, that was a special kind of stupid, wasn't it? It's in the Pi Builder, but it's, it's not actually the Pi Builder that we... Ah, you idiot. What you want to do is... This is very nasty, by the way, because I'm actually changing all of this in the in the main line. <coughs> uh, what I should be doing is working out how would how would you normally test this? Uh, if I wanted to test this in the is there a way of actually running this in the in a, hmm. I mean, I can run it with this fly execute uh, a local project on the computer and set it up with a task configuration to run inside the container on concourse. Uh, uh, so that would mean taking everything. Uh, The working directory name we used as the input name. Yeah, he sits. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could use that, couldn't we? Let's try it. Uh, so what, what we need to do then is... Uh, we need to separate out the pipeline and the task. And we have to specify the inputs manually. So we need. Oh. What happens if we've got. Here we can do inputs from. Take artifacts from build. Which uh, image of our get step uses it in the task step, so Uh. Hmm. Okay, so there is a way of doing it, but we have to change quite a lot because uh, we have to separate the task out so it can be run separately and then we need to put that task into some sort of repository so it can be run from a known source mm. okay can't be bothered let's just hack it right uh, Hmm. 
Right, we're in the unzip. Okay, so uh, we are running as root. Everything checked out. I batched. Uh, patched, patched image file system image good and then we say mount da -da -da, high patched image as a mount image and it fails because it's not permitted despite the fact we're well, theoretically running as a privileged container <sighs> this has got a familiar smell There's something about this. What sort of container was I running? CI, CI tools. Okay, well let's just run the CI tools. Uh, so, um, um, What I need to do is mount a volume, I guess. I'm not. I suppose I can mount it in slash temp, can I? Try it. No, there is no volume in there, so let's try Docker. And run. Really? Oh, so I dash you to it. Okay. Cool. Uh, 
Three microns. I don't have in there. Oh, oh. Mm, uh, uh, this is very hacky, but needs moss when the devil vomits into your kettle. Mm. It's one of the great things about doing everything on virtual machines. The only problem we've got at the moment is that we keep pushing that stuff up into Git and it's not ideal if that was a production environment. <laughs> That's an understatement. Uh, there are several ways around it. One would be to have a sort of uh, mirror Git that would intercept it. Uh, and that would work. Uh, once we get up to the point where we can build whole networks in virtual machines, and uh, we could certainly do it that way. Um, However, um, um, what we uh, what ideally what we want to do, of course, is have it so that we can execute this uh, uh, using fly execute. Uh, but we need to do a bit more magic before we can get to that point. Right. Okay. So we've now got uh, this image file. This. Right. So patch by file system dot image and now we fail to set up loop device. Okay, well, fail, failing to set up a loop device is not. Improvement violation, so. Not the actual. Mm. The question is, is this, uh, I mean, Failed to set up the loop device.
Oh, two more testicles. Okay, so that, that was just a problem then of it not running privileged. Fine. So the question then is, why is the container... So it does work if you run the container privileged. So why is it that... Uh, Why is it that when uh, when I run the pipeline, it's not running it as privileged, or at least it, if it is running as privileged, it's not running it with the right privilege, uh, despite the fact that privileged is set to true. Is there a way to check container prev status from inside? Uh, Uh, right. Uh, operation not permitted. Well, that looks very much like it's just running it as an unprivileged image. But that can't be right, can it? And certainly the fact that it can't perform the mount suggests that it's not running privileged, but is there any way of checking? There must be some sort of log file being produced, mustn't there? Operation not permitted. Oh, give me a fucking migraine sometimes. Right, um... Okay. Concourse not running container Okay, can I can I monitor what's going on? With fly for example. Mm, I've got status but that just Yeah, that just doesn't tell me very much. Mm. Well, it's fairly limited, isn't it? I 
and well, actually that's bullshit because it's got a lot more things in it than that. <sighs> List of active volumes, fine. What about the containers? Control. Print the active containers. Okay. Um, better. Okay, so that's the pipeline. Task patch image. It doesn't tell you if. Ah. Uh, so it doesn't tell you if it's privileged or not. Okay, maybe there's a way of soliciting that information. Uh, Uh, so that prints the active containers, fine. Uh, check resources, builds. Uh, that doesn't really help, it's just using the... Watch stream a build output, but it's not really outputting very much interesting, is it? No builds match job. Um, okay. Mm. This job's in the pipeline. Uh, minus P resource not found. <clears throat> oh, it's pi pipeline, isn't it? Pi builder. Mm. Okay, let's try da 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 watch my build. 
no builds match job. Understand that. Watch streams a builds output. Great. How do I find the build? List build data. Okay. Mm, so Build eighteen. Is that build eighteen or build? Or do we do build nine or do we say nineteen? Okay, um, so specifying the pipeline and job didn't help. What if I just specify 20? Nothing. I don't get it. How can I... Okay, so I can see the list of builds. Uh, um, I can see the containers, but not very really much about them. Like, for example, if they're actually running pre pitched. Oh. Okay, let's see if there's some general logging. I mean, the obvious place to look, I suppose, is the log. Mm. 
not saying anything of this. Come here, mate. Do you want to come up? Yes, I know, Kenny. It's a bit of a bugger, isn't it? Uh, right. Let's see if I get anything useful in terms of logging. Complete configuration. Okay, just providing you with everything I don't need to know. Okay, so I think we can definitely say that the documentation leaves something to be desired. Uh, observation. Lines and every new configured pipeline is hidden to anyone above. I don't know that. Roles and permissions. Ah, uh, none of that helps. Builds. Right, so fly builds, fly intercept, and fly watch. Okay. Uh, okay, this builds have a job. Okay. Uh, Sometimes it's helpful to connect the machine where tasks run. Oh, right, okay. Profile or inspect tasks to see the state of the machine at the end of the run. Uh, uh, give you an interactive show inside the specified container. Uh -huh. uh, For example, intercepting a task running on a Windows blah blah. blah. Okay, continue around for a short time after the window to allow people to intercept them. Uh, and you run and you buy, uh, buy job build step. You can intercept. Specific step from a build or a job in your pipeline. Okay, so if we run it and then do fly minus TCI and intercept and the job will be builder slash pi build uh, and the step do we need to do uh, do we need to specify that oh, no so we need the step to be what mm. I assume the step is match image. Is it? Or is it task? Okay, let's 
Okay. So we didn't specify the name, right, which makes sense. Okay. All right, all right, come on. Calm down now. Uh, right. Okay, so we're inside the machine anyway, so we can now hopefully see what's what. Uh, if I try, uh, so who am I natively? Okay, so I'm root. So if I try to run that mount command, uh, what I should find is in my patched image is the file system. And I should be able to do this mount command. Uh, Actually, the first one, isn't it? Um, oh, I can, I can run the, I can run the mount, can I? Yeah, let's run the. Uh, I can't write any pie patched. Ah, oh, come on, let's just do pie patch tools. Uh, all we want to do is patch. Oh, come on. <clears throat> right, try that again. Pi patch tools slash patch pi. And what we want to do is do pi patched image file system. And we're getting not permitted so it's the same problem but why are we getting not permitted if this how can i check the capabilities of so concourse no not concourse uh, 
tell you that. Inside capability check. Blah 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 blah. Yes, 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 running privilege containers, bad. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, how do I list capabilities? Next, list capabilities. Okay, and so I Get, I can see what the capabilities are. What I want to know is how do I check which capabilities are set? Uh, available capabilities. Uh, right, it's a good place as any to start, isn't it? So let's have a look. ls block slash sys kernel. Uh, Cap last cap. Cap SH not found. Uh, ah, now we're going to have to. Okay. Um, uh, it'll be something like PS tools, right? Um. Okay, so we've got cap. Permitted capabilities effective. So permitted. P R M three F F F F F F F F F. And of course, if we want to decode it, we ah. For capsule units. Okay, so. Debian caption package.
Oh, oh sorry, where was I? Oh yeah. Try that. Not install libcap to bin. Oh, we finish with dot caps now. So, what was it we did? Uh, right. So the root process has got. Those so if we do cap shell uh, decode uh, right so the one we're looking for is cap make node isn't it uh, be perfectly honest it certainly looks like it's got most of them uh, it's in there somewhere uh, I mean it certainly looks like we've got everything we need uh, there it is We've got we've got the ability to make that note. So why why is it not letting me do it? Uh, hmm. Uh, Uh, and the other one is capture or print. Boom. Uh, uh, come on. So what are we looking up with? So why, oh why, oh why is mount not being permitted? Mount not permitted. Uh, Debian slim. Well, mm. uh.
Okay, so when I when I ran the CRU tools down here, so this this, this that that should be a CRU tools running there. Okay, and there should be a CRU tools if I run that it should be the same CIU tools running privileged right so if I do uh, uh, it won't work until I've installed right okay so at install uh, look at to bin So what if any are the differences between this and this? Uh, and I mean, on the face of it, there are no differences. So. If there are no differences in capabilities and there's no differences in the user why is it that i can run the mount command on one but not on the other mm -hmm. Now, it could be something to do with uh, permissions on... I know the user for God's sake. Yeah. I... Mm -hmm. If I do... Okay, so unzipped hello oh no we yeah, are okay because i haven't run unzip okay Uh, oh, that's interesting. Why isn't the mount present? Wait a minute, I thought I'd run. Oh, it's because it removes it at the end. No, get in a dumbass. Operation not permitted. Okay, so if we do make directory minus b mount slash temp image uh, again make directory and then operation not Come on, why is that? <sighs> I mean, I can understand the protecting the worker. But what I don't understand is given all the capabilities at present, what is preventing it uh, 
Uh, okay, so there's a mount. Operation not permitted. Okay, so what possible causes are there for this? Uh, uh, the user is using this privileged container. Yeah, no, duh. But the problem is, I, I seem to be running a privileged container. What? Well, that makes no fucking sense. Uh, couldn't create a loop device. Rebooting allowed it to do so and mount the image. The mount command can handle that. Blah blah blah. The unmount. You can use the unmount. Yeah, yeah. Yeah then. Okay, so if I do You see, there are loop devices here, and there aren't loop devices here. Which is weird. Uh, so, but I thought it would automatically create. No, I'm sure we don't have that installed. Lose, uh, was it lose TP? No, we do have it installed. Oh, okay. Cannot find an unused leak device. No such device. Well, there you go. Uh, But that, I mean, it's weird. Um, so I would do loops top dev loop zero and associate that loop device with uh, what was it? Pi Pi patched L to W is no such file or directory. Uh, 
Okay. What does that mean? Does that mean it couldn't create loop zero? Or does it mean... Uh, let's try it with min mount minus O. It's, uh, yeah, offset. So if we do, I mean, loop should be implied. Try it without the offset, just see what happens. without anything at all fantasy. Yeah. All right, how about this then? Uh, Not do it in the mount area. Let's just do it in temp image. So it's not. Okay, how about just making a directory in here? Okay, so it's got nothing to do with the target directory. No such device. Okay, but that it is, is but that mm, this is only associating a loop device, not creating it. You see, this is using the loop device. Mm, I'm not convinced. Cannot find an unused leak device. Exactly.
isn't this isn't creating anything, this is just associating them. Right. So can we create with make node? Let's see if it actually created it. Okay, so it's created it. Mm, let's try the original mount point. Uh, now offset blah 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 into mount temp image. How to set up loop device? Well, it's different. So now, uh, hmm. operation not permitted again. That could be because I've created a crappy do do uh, loop device. Hmm. Oh, okay, so I should have created seven zero. Okay, so that should have been something along those lines. Go on, device is there, loop zero, mm -hmm. B R A read right, read right, root, need to be in group disk. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so the question now is, how is the worker I think that this is something to do with the way concourse uh, controls access because if I run it directly with privileges I can see loops 
you know, I basically get the same list as I do on the host, which is what you'd expect. However, because the worker's not running, I wonder if that's the problem. Seeing all the devices on a privileged container, and that makes perfect sense. So how does con how does a concourse worker handle privileged containers? It seems a concourse worker privilege container. Running a worker node. Right, so what's with that route as it orchestrates containers? Well, but duh, all logs will be permitted to stand out and any planet load will be permitted to stand out there. Fine. Uh, does that mean that on this machine, uh, Is it writing to the system log? Hmm, not writing, it is writing anything, it's not writing anything useful.
Terminal perhaps. Terminal perhaps. Oh, log perhaps. Mm. Docker run time. Well, So CRU tools works fine if you run it in privileged mode on a regular container, but it doesn't get the loop devices if it's run privileged by a Concourse worker. Hmm. Uh, this could be a non problem. It could be, some, it could be something to do with. Oh, we've learned some good stuff today. Because we've learned about the intercept. command we've learned about the ability to see what capabilities we've got um, of course we haven't actually solved the problem but, uh, well no we haven't solved the problem but we've we've got some ideas about what might solve the problem Uh, so let's just uh, so a couple of uh, and notes from today.
Uh, so that's that. Um, also, I've got, what else did we learn today? Uh, we learned... Uh, oops. Uh, we learned... Uh, well, let's we'll talk about those type of stuff. Uh, and how to create a loop. Well, that was not really very helpful because it didn't actually do anything with it. That could be just a problem with me, though. Mm, so we, we really need more research, don't we? strangeness today there's obviously something wacky with the way concourse is starting privileged containers isn't there what do you think what do you think is the answer yeah I'm mystified as well yes oh yes a belly rub always solves the problem does it yes uh, right. Well, on that rather frustrating but informative note, I suppose that's this session come to an end. Hmm. Do you really want feeding soon? Well, yeah, not the best day. Not the best day. But we've got a few clues. I mean, there is a there is a way of doing this, and that is that we can run uh, we we can run outside of the container. We can run something, and then the build could SSH into some uh, I don't know a virtual machine or something, uh, and use that to do the patching of the image. But uh, I'd rather not. I, I really want to solve this problem. So there are workarounds, but they're a bit kludgy. I'd much rather figure out what's going on for two reasons. One, it's good to learn these things. And two, what's the second thing? Oh, yeah, we prefer a clean solution than the kludge. Clean solutions are always better, aren't they, Kenny? Mm -hmm. What would you know about clean solutions? You're dirty from rolling in the garden, aren't you? Right, I'm going to call it a day. Well, at least I'm going to call the stream a day. I shall still be mulling this over in my head. Alright.